Hope you've been enjoying your stay. <gasps> Did you hear? have been her sister in the ballroom. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. A twin? <laughs> the only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Linda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. So am I. I'm sorry I wasn't there for her. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. Killing the administrator won't bring her back. But it'll feel good. I have no regrets. I did exactly what I had to do. I'd do it again. If it means defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. 
They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host, a bliss so pure, so profound as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there, just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. Ludovico murdered my sister, Inspector. Killed Belinda with his own hands. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that slack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. You want me to explain my grand plan in the middle of a climactic moment like some two-bit serial villain? Do I look like Spencer Woolrich to you? We've talked enough. You're either with me, or you're with the Administrator. It's a deal. Wow. I can't believe we're running with Halcy on Helen. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. You're staying right where you are. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close. Head through that door. There's another way out.
operations, but he's still at large. He's probably gone into hiding, so we're going to root him out. This entire complex has been exposed to those parasites. Law only knows how many they've infected. Most of them won't even know they're carrying a parasite inside of them. If they're showing symptoms, it's probably already too late. Boundless energy, insufferable joy, an almost saccharine attitude of optimism. Then just like that, parasites bursting out of their bodies, fat and wriggling with vital energy. You're a step ahead of me, Inspector. Clearly a woman of many talents. An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at your penthouse. We'll ready our next move. Not here. In private, back at the penthouse. Also, I rather like the ambiance there. See you soon, Inspector. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. I'll appreciate your help even more. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not gonna sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, he'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. Or do you prefer doctor? We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat, and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Used the ingredients to synthesize an antiparasitic. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. I like the way you think, Inspector. We could use another ally. I know, Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. I'm not accustomed to talking about Belinda, but I'm also not accustomed to the kind of sympathy you showed me earlier. So I'll make an exception for you. Belinda and I shared the role of Helen, but she was also the only person who knew the real me. To the rest of the colony, I'm Halcyon Helen, but to my sister, I'm, I was just Ruth. I could be myself around Belinda and she could be herself around me. She was my only sister, but she was also my only friend. No. Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. 
She could slip into the role of Halcyon Helen, attend social events on my behalf, perform a few stunts, deliver a few lines. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, all she had to do was slip out of the role and be my sister again. She was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows, an easier life. I made sure of that. I'm glad I could satisfy your curiosity. Yes, Inspector. I did. Leora Blossom and Maria Keen were on Ludovico's side. They chose to stand between me and my sister's killer. I had to cross them off. Would you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? I spoke to her in her office. I told her everything. Belinda... Ludovico, the parasites, all of it. Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage and that she had a duty to report me. She told me how sorry she was, and I told her the same thing. And then I shot her. Maria was defending my sister's killer. If someone murdered one of your crew in cold blood, what would you do? So you do understand. Was there anything else? Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected, everything I'd discovered. It's all here, all in code. Belinda and I, we had a secret way of communicating. Words and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Numbers and dates that were only important to the two of us. Only two people in the universe knew that language. That's kind of you. Thank you. You don't know how many times I relived this moment in my mind. I discovered what Ludovico was up to when I toured the orchards. I threatened to expose his plan. Ludovico decided to eliminate me. He programmed Burbage 3001 to fire on his command and disabled the security cameras in the ballroom. Only, he didn't know about Belinda. I'm sure he thought it was my skull he caved in with a bottle of Spectrum Brown. Burbage covered his blow with the plasma shot, and then Ludovico wiped his memory. I don't think he expected you to be so competent. In the end, hiring you may have been his undoing. I went after Leora Blossom, and you were just one step behind me. I programmed an automech to steal some explosives from Cedric, but you weren't far behind. You were always hot on my heels, one step behind and catching up. I realized I'd have to throw in with you or eliminate you. It's a long story, Inspector. It was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. Some hideous concoction served with a dead parasite. All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos. Shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. In any case, we couldn't possibly say no. Linda always hated endorsement deals. They felt cheap to her, inauthentic. She always believed her first priority was to our fans, and not the company that bought us out. Nothing. She took the job when I did. Linda was an idealist, and her ideals died with her. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. We were practically flawless, even Ludovico didn't know about us. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days, but then she met Bertie Holcomb. Bertie treated her like a human being and not just an Aetherwave icon. They were just about perfect.
Bertie had a temper, and that worried me. But in the end, he was a decent enough fellow. Bertie wasn't the person I should have kept an eye on. It was Ludovico. I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. That gave me some time to do a little digging. The Purpleberry Orchards was the heart of Ludovico's operations. I knew I'd find some answers in the R&D lab. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. Those harmless, dead parasites at the bottom of every bottle? They were just dormant. They would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. They'll eat up any new product we toss their way. A new cereal, a new Spectrum flavor. Ludovico knows that. From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. Every last one of us trapped behind a mask of joy. That's what Ludovico wants. <sighs> I was careless. I was risking Belinda's life every step of the way, and I never even realized. I wish it were that easy. Still, thank you. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? 